Alrighty, hello guys, welcome me faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are back with our steam locomotive. As you guys can see, something that we actually changed last time, or we built last time, uh, is this thing on the back right here, which is essentially just a crane um, that loads things onto itself. It doesn't really have the ability to load things onto anything else, unless it is, I don't know, maybe on the tracks next to it or something like that. Um, but what we're going to do today is we're actually going to go ahead and modify the steam locomotive itself and essentially attach a gun to the front. I know that seems a little bit insane, but that is what I want to do. So let's get to it. Okie dokie, so here we are with the actual locomotive itself. Let's go ahead and delete some of these and uh, see what we can actually get up to today. Um, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go. I really don't know. Um, but we're essentially just going to go ahead and delete all of the cow catcher except the side pieces, which is these guys. Uh, we're going to build it out forwards from there, and hopefully, once this is built, uh, it'll look pretty sick. I, I think it will, so um, it's going to go out actually quite far, uh, as you guys can see like this. There we go. We're then going to go ahead and make it rounded off at the front, just like this, and hopefully we can make it look nice as we go. So we're going to go ahead and do these guys as well. There we go. Delete these two, two as we go. And go ahead and smash that on there. So we've built ourselves a box on the front. That is so strange. It is actually really, really weird. I don't know how I feel about it, but there you go. Also, we're going to use this grate on the interior like everything else. And spawn it in. What does that look like? It looks like we've got a box attached to the front of a train. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Um, okay. Alright, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and attach a gun to the front of this. I don't know how it's going to go, but let's go ahead and figure it out by ourselves anyway. So, pivot. Let's go ahead and grab one of those. Uh, and essentially just smack it straight into here like so. There we go. Excellent. That's always good uh, when you can just whack them in like that. Nice. Okay, the next thing is we're actually going to go ahead and build this out forwards. We're going to go across a few. We're going to go ahead and just smash this into here like this. Uh, if we can go sideways, there we go. And we're going to go ahead and smash this guy onto here like this, because we can. So there we go. We're going to go ahead and build this back three. And then we're going to build this one in. There we go. Excellent. And I think we can get away with doing something like this on this piece. Do all of these guys. And, um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and continue this upwards, because we can. Ba -ba 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 -ba. There we go. Excellent. And then we're going to build it in the middle. But the gun, of course, is going to go somewhere in the center here as well. Don't know where, but it will go somewhere. Okie dokie. So, uh, I'm still not entirely sure how I want this to go, or how I want this to look, etc, etc. But let's go ahead and build this into here like so. And essentially just leave it like that at the rear, because, well, uh, we can. <laughs> that is the reasoning. I'm going to go ahead and shove these guys on here too, again, because we can. And I think I'm going to go ahead and squeeze the entire thing inwards. Um, just a tiny bit, because uh, I think it'll look better. So, let's go ahead and cut this and move it this way. There we go, paste it there. Go to the other side and do the same thing, so cut it, move it inwards one, paste it there, and there we go. Okay, cool. So if we can merge all of these together, that'd be excellent. Merge that with that, that with that, and there we go. Okay, nice. Now, we just need to figure out how to attach a gun to this, um, so that it'll look nice. So a pivot is what we need. We're going to go ahead and shove it on there like so. Let's go ahead and box in the other side. And a gun is what we need also. I guess it's not actually a gun, it's a cannon. Uh, but there you go. So a cannon, we're going to go with, I think, one of these, um, honestly. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And, um, yeah, that actually looks pretty good. And then I think what might be quite nice uh, is with the battle cannon, we can actually add, I don't know, some extra rounds. I know a few of you guys have been saying maybe we should do this. Um, and to be fair, maybe we should. <laughs> but I don't know. So let's go ahead and attach that. Oh, no, it's the bottom, isn't it? It is the bottom side. Hmm. I don't know whether we can actually do that then. So if I flip this over, yeah, no, maybe we can. Okay, so if we do that, we then go to the feeder and we do it this way around, obviously, so it feeds it in. Uh, we should be able to get away with this if we just have, oh, I don't know. I don't know, just a straight box on the top. And then we have three rounds that can automatically be fired uh, straight away. Oh, I guess two rounds. It is just two. Okay, well, still looks okay to me. Okay, so from here, what do we do and how do we make it look nice is the question. I think we might be able to get away with adding one of these guys. Um, quite possibly. I, I don't know for sure, but yeah, okay. I think that looks okay. And then we can get away with doing maybe one of these. Uh, right about here. Bam, there we go. And then I think we can get away with just doing this down the side like so. 
There you go. So we get ourselves a gun at the front, and um, it actually looks kind of cool. I like it. So what we need to do from here is we need to add a seat uh, so we can actually fire the gun. Did it, did it, did it. Driver's seat? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not a driver's seat. One of these, probably. There we go. Uh, we should be able to fire the gun from... I kind of want to do it off the side, to be honest. So I'm going to do this. We're going to have a passenger seat on one side. And then on the other side, we'll have an actual driver's seat. Thingamabobby. Uh, where we control the thing from. So there we go. Okay, nice. Let's go and connect this. A and D is going to control this. W and S is going to control this. A space bar is going to be our firing button. And we also need a feed, so we're going to go ahead and press 1 for that. Uh, and there we go. We also need to actually be able to open up the breach. That button is going to go in front of this guy. So a toggle button right here for open breach. There we go. Open breach. And there we go. Okay, so this will go to the gun. Uh, there, there we go. And this will go to fire. Okay, so that is everything we sort of need. We now need some ammunition to be stored. So let's go ahead and figure that out um, here, I guess. So what we'll do is do something a little bit strange. We're going to go ahead and line these guys up right here. There's three. There's, oh, going to be six. There we go, six. And then we're going to go with nine. Then we're going to delete these guys right here. Get ourselves a feeder uh, for a battle cannon, wherever that is. Uh, paddle cannon belt, there we go, and if we can, we want them sending them the other way. So, turn it around, whack it there, there we go. So, this is kind of cool, this is kind of cool. We're going to go ahead and fill all of these with ammunition, uh, and then we'll put a little microcontroller on it, so that it can send it to the front every time there is one missing, and uh, that'll be great. Alright, I was just thinking actually, maybe a microcontroller will be, um, I, I don't know, maybe it would actually stay on by accident sometimes. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and turn on the feeder with this button, and that'll be fine. Bring rounds to front. That is what this button does. Excellent. This one is open breach. There we go. Let's go ahead and spawn it in. Uh, give it infinite electricity so we can actually use it. Sit in the little seat. Aim it upwards. Okay. Uh, feed it. Oh, actually, we need to open the breach too, don't we? <laughs> we totally do. Okay, then close breach. Three, two, one. Open breach. Close breach. Nice. Okay, right, we can sort of... We can sort of make this work. I think we need that button actually on this side. Uh, and then we will be good. So if we take a round out of this and we whack it in there. Take a round out of here. We whack it in here. Open the breach. And whack another one in. We can close the breach. There we go. That's a lot of noise. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of noise. Fire! Open breach. Fire! <laughs> hey, there we go. Okay, excellent. Turn that off. It's really loud, isn't it? It's very loud. Okay, I'm kind of happy with this so far. Uh, I, I think it looks a little bit strange just being out here on the front. So we need to do something with the front end of this uh, to make it not look so out there. But um, yeah, I think we could do that. Okay, so delete these guys. Let's go ahead and attach one of these to here, like so. And then we're going to go ahead and attach another one of these. Essentially to there, but I think we'll do it like this. So that goes there. Attach these guys together like so. Delete these guys all the way around. There we go. And I guess it'll just be like... I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what this should look like underneath, to be honest. I'm just going to go ahead and send these guys across. And have it closed off. There you go. Okay, I'm also going to put a little round in there. There we go. And that is A-OK. -okay. So... Open breach button is actually going to be moved to the other side. There we go. Cut this. Move it this way. Let's go ahead and have it right next to the gun. That's probably okay. Merge this with the gun. Oh, Yeah, okay. That does actually sort of work, doesn't it? It does. Uh, we're then going to get ourselves a monitor. I know this is, like, not really right, but um, we're going to anyway. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and shove the monitor right here like this. Whenever we're sat in the seat, the monitor will be on. And that will control a camera uh, that will go directly on top of here. Just like this. There we go. And then if we send the video from this to this monitor. Oh, I'm doing it on both sides by accident. I'm doing it by, on both sides by accident. Uh, that will be fine. And then we could go ahead and do this. And honestly, that looks okay. So, good. Good, good, good. Then up and down is actually going to be on this. Uh, somewhere, there we go. So we can actually zoom in the camera if we need to, and that is perfect. 
Battle cannon. Can I attach an end? No, I can't. It's just going to be like this. It's kind of weird, but at the same time, I guess it'll work. Okay, so this is now what it looks like. Um, still very strange, but actually still will actually work. We've now got a monitor that we can zoom in and out on. And then if we wanted to, uh, we can actually lift up the gun. Open the breach. Okay, close breach. And fire! Okay, right. We could get this working a lot better. So, we're going to go ahead and make uh, the up and down sticky. There we go. We're going to make W and S sticky, A and E sticky also, so we can actually leave them all as they are. Um, we're going to go ahead and attach the feeder to the actual open breach button uh, so that it does it all at once. I, I feel like that makes a lot of sense to me. So now, if we go ahead and we do this, we can do this. Yeah. Loads them in, fires them, excellent. And then we can actually just do this. Yep, and three, there we go, sit back in this seat. Press this button, fire. Do this, fire. Do this again, fire. Nice, okay, yeah, it's totally working. Uh, we can aim forwards, we can actually aim sideways if we need to. That needs inverting, but that's okay. And then we can aim the other side if we also need to. Uh, and that is that is fantastic, yeah. Okay, right, so what we'll do now then is we'll invert the uh, the twisting because that's currently wrong. Um, and we can leave it like that, pretty much. I want to add a light to this as well, just so we can see. Um, and that'll be great. Okay, so inverter, let's go ahead and smack that on there. Let's go ahead and attach this directly to there. And then this to A and D, there we go. Uh, and then we need some like spotlights and stuff like that on here as well, because I think that'd be awesome. So, um, with that being said, Spotlight, uh, I think these ones might be a good idea. In fact, even just one of them uh, right there would be great. Yeah, okay, let's go ahead and put that on one. Let's go ahead and label this. One is Spotlight. There we go. Okay, nice. The other things that I would like to do, actually, is to delete a bunch of these, get ourselves some rocket bits, and smack them in there too, uh, just like that. Adds a little bit of detail, and that is always good. Um, what else should we do? What else should we do? I don't know. I'm gonna do this and this and I'm gonna attach those together via a pipe Yes, just like so. Okay, and then I'm just gonna add a pipe pointing downwards. No real reason for it But there you go, uh, and that is fine. I guess if we do actually want to attach to something We should also maybe have a pivot located back here somewhere Get a connector Attach it to that. There we go. Uh, and then we can actually attach ourselves onto other trains if necessary. Um, I don't know if it is going to be necessary ever, but there you go. Also, tank, we might as well do it. So, medium ones, I believe. Oh, wow, they're a bit big. Is it medium or is it small? Might be small, actually. Uh, there you go. Delete this one. Go ahead and put a block back there. Go ahead and grab one of these. Whack it on there. And that is fine. All right, spawn it in. Let's see what that looks like. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? How has that not happened with every other one? How has that not happened with every other one of them? We've actually got tank tracks across the front of this one. Well, that's confusing. <laughs> I think it might be because they're a bit low, actually, on this one. So, actually, delete these and delete these. Go up one and we'll actually just smack it in there and smack it in there. Then go. No, it still does it. I'm really confused. Okay, I flipped it around so it's actually on the other way, and now it's actually fine. Okay, excellent. So, we've got our thing, we've got our reload rounds right there, we've got our cannon right here as well that we can actually reload, and we can also shoot, and that is awesome. We can also turn the spotlight on if we need to, which, I don't know whether we'll ever need to, but that's still cool. Okay, so, let's go ahead and get inside of this thing, yes, uh, jump up and get inside, there we go, go ahead and light the firebox, let's get it moving, and we'll sit on the gun at the front, and just shoot off, I guess, <laughs> we'll see what happens, we will. Oh my, here we go, so we are actually moving now, which is excellent, and uh, obviously we don't have a tender on right now, but that's fine, let's go ahead and zoom in our little, uh, our little camera, and see if we can hit something while on the move. So let's say we wanted to hit a tree, uh, this one. We, we can aim it still, and uh, we are still semi-accurate, so even while moving, that's pretty cool. I like this addition. <laughs> I do. I really like it. I was going to add some, like, train wheels underneath it, but I think it being like this is actually okay. Um, and yeah, we could probably just leave it like this. 
So if I want to reload, I just go ahead and do this. There you go. Drops it down. And fires it off. Nice. Oh, that's sick. That is really, really cool. Anyway, uh, this is all I really wanted to do for today. So that is where I'm going to leave it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time. Goodbye.